Okay, I wanted to do a video on building with styrofoam cement mixes. There's a lot of inquiry I get, and they got a lot of questions and stuff. I'm gonna address those here now. One of the most frequent questions I receive is, where do you source a supply of regrind styrofoam beads? And keep in mind, you can buy virgin. There's, you can find all kinds of people selling virgin styrene, real expensive. Think of it, guys. It's petroleum-based. Its price is going to reflect what a barrel of oil is, and today, that's sky high. So that's not economically viable. Two, you can find some companies that are still out there grinding it. Very few. It used to be, you know, if you're in a large enough metropolitan area, you're going to find somebody who's doing something with styrene, creating a waste, or grinding it and selling it. Today, 99% of all companies that do that are densifying it to where they make blocks, and they sell it to manufacturers who are making new polystyrene product, whether it be sheets or cups or whatever. So you're not finding sources of it like you used to. Now you can still, like furniture supply, uh, furniture stores get a lot of product from China and it's all got styrene and you can grind that up. You can set up a, a grinder for next to nothing. Just YouTube or Google it, whatever. And you know, you'd be grinding some styrofoam in your shop and what a mess and what a labor intensive process that is. Back in the day when I could buy a three to four foot diameter bag as tall as me for four bucks, yeah, I was kind of inclined to build with it. Not so much anymore because I can't. I've tried. There's a swimming pool project that I'm looking at at Santa Ana and we were going to put six inches of mud cement foam as an insulator so that the heated pool wouldn't thermally lose to the ground. Sign me up for that gig. But you know, again, I couldn't find it. Keep in mind that you can also build a lightweight um, mixture with perlite, a naturally mined item, and vermiculite. There are sources for that, and that's still relatively cheap and plentifully available. So those are my go-to now because I can't find styrene. So at any rate, uh, grinding your own to me is an option, and Buying virgin is an option, so the perlite and the vermiculite really become the, the, the option. But again, going back to styrofoam mixes, I don't care whether it's styrene, perlite, or vermiculite. Those are three known lightweight aggregates that I've used in the past to build with. And that's what you need to know for sourcing styrofoam mixes. Let's keep one thing in mind about the three choices we have in a lightweight cement mix. Styrene, polystyrene, Perlite, vermiculite, they're all lightweight. Lightweight means air. Air's in perlite, air's in vermiculite and styrene. Probably the lightest of the three is the styrene, but when the availability comes to question, I gotta migrate to the perlite and, or the vermiculite. So just so you understand that, they're all gonna produce a lightweight aggregate and they're gonna have some R value. Just as a clarifier, there's there's two movements I've pretty much done with the cement styrofoam mixes. One, I've made artificial rock. That's my, largely that's my business, but I've also been a general contractor in building all kinds of building, residential, commercial, metal frame, stick frame, block, cement, poured walls. I've done it all. I've always been on a hunt for alternative materials and processes. So kind of get a lot of calls on people who are calling, not so much for the rock, but for building homes, structures. As I've received so much inquiry regarding building structures with this, I start to contemplate why, why? Well, I get a lot of this, the R value. It's so great, it's, it's insulative and it's cheap. I can, I can make it for next to nothing. Yes, I can make a lot of bulk material with styrofoam mud and it's fairly inexpensive but it has no r value we we proven that through through laboratory testings i made a sips panel which had two three quarter inch outer garments and the foam four inches of that so it's a five and a half inch wall and the r value we got from that testing was an r value of five and that's not gonna that's not gonna fly that's not enough to say i'm gonna build a, a structure with it so um, it, just take a sheet of uh, styrene, uh, one inch, and Google what is it, what's the R value of a one inch foam sheet? And depending on the poundage, how much, like one pound, two pound, three pound, basically are the most available, that's density. 
In other words, there's more styrene content in a three pound. It's more rigid, more less air, more more styrene. So it's going to be, uh, you know, less R value. The air is where you're getting your R value. So the one pound is going to have better R than the three. But you'll get a variance when you Google it. 3.6 to 4.2 is an R value from one inch sheet. Installation wise, uh, styrofoam is the least cost and it has poor R value. It's cheap, that's why people use it. It's readily available and cheap. Uh, it's not the greatest in, in insulation. So mixing it with cement then, you got beads and you got cement binding it together. So you get these veins running through the bulk material that are great conductors of heat and cold. So thermally, you're, you're not insulated. You're, you're back to a hard, material which is great conductor so it doesn't make sense again you can't be manufacturing R values better than an inch of styrofoam pure styrofoam with cement being in the equation there's guys out there that have got all kinds of data and they're saying this is what their yield is and I, you just can't believe it YouTube and Google unfortunately you run into people that are throwing out information and they're all wet God bless them you know what I can't sit here with a gun pointing to your head saying, you're going to follow everything that I've said and do what I do. It's like, that doesn't fly. God bless each man and woman doing what they want to do. Go for it. Good luck with that. I've got to do what's good for me. You've got to do what's good for you. But I'm, I'm just petitioning to say there are all kinds of ways to build structure, get strength and insulation. And, you know, all the analysis being poor, water intrusion, moisture, uh, airflow, um, mold resistance, mildew resistance, uh, splitting, warping, cracking. Um, again, fire resistance, tornado, hurricane, all these things battling against the structure. What can we build with to provide a, a reprieve from all these issues? And in my mind, I've come up with one thing. It's my SIPS panel system. I do it differently than the other guys do. Well, we'll get into that. But Right now, building with styrofoam or let's just say lightweight aggregate mixes, whether it's air and trained or it's styrene or vermiculite, prolite, any kind of a system out there, um, I just don't see it. And I wanted to get that across because I get so many people I've got to tell this to, I just as soon knock it out with one good video. Okay, the other portion of their pursuit is not just our value, but it's strength. It's cement. It's going to be strong. Well, styrene based you know cement mixes or any kind of a lightweight aggregate mix is not strong you're going to find it's you need a lot of it to make structure and that varies depending on your mix and what you're putting in it and there's so many things we can add to cement some guys are calling me uh, well, i'm going to use some uh, acrylic fortifier and or fiber i'm going to put fiber in there or i'm going to put mesh or i'm going to air and train it with a you know like aircrete for instance it, there's all kinds of additions to the styrofoam mix it's claiming to be an enhancement of some value and i'm telling you i can't see it it just if you see it god bless you i don't and i've got to do what's good for me and the economics and the strength yields and the performance characteristics do not come out of the styrofoam mud again for me making a thermal break in a swimming pool spa or you know a, 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 a pond that i'm going to heat it breaks the thermal barrier. The, it, it produces a, a thermal barrier so that I don't have great conductivity to the ground. There's where I see it. Or if I got a big bulk space to fill and I want to do it fast and cheap and lightweight, there, there we go. There is a place for this tool, this formula. It's just not in building structure in my humble opinion. Well, I hope this puts kind of a, a little more information in your hands as to what you know the styrofoam mix is and I, I when I made the original video I was doing a roof project where we were filling you know low ponds and in, in flat roof construction and it was a great thing for that again seeking a lightweight mix for certain vet applications it, it's a great product but for building structure as I said uh, I can't see it and uh, I still as a youtuber you know providing content uh, I got a phone number I put it up right here and uh, you got a question, you give me a call. I'm, I spend time because I enjoy teaching people. I enjoy assisting people in their pursuits. 
and I figure it's a blessing to me. You know what I mean? So if you got a question about this, give me a call. That's what I'm here for. I train people on how to make cement, do all kinds of things. I think if you look at one of my videos, the Adirondack chair, look it up. A lot, lot, not many views on it. I thought it was going to be a great thing. I really enjoyed the project, but I've made all kinds of things with cement. And instead of making cement lightweight to utilize it, like in this chair, you would never think that you could make a chair out of concrete. Well, you can, and I don't do it by making the mud light. I do it by making the, the mud extremely strong, making a composite out of it, unlike most cementaceous mixes. So um, that's that's my pursuit is making cement things. So if you got a question, give me a call. And if you like the video, you know, like, share, subscribe, all those things, and uh, you know, stay tuned for some more. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thanks. Bye.